keep this party going, people. It's going to be a fun one. A 100 milliliter solution that is 0 0.0200 molar in sodium ions can be prepared by adding how many grams of sodium sulfate, molar mass 142 grams per mole, to water and diluting to a final volume of 100 milliliters. All right, so we want to know how many grams of this sodium sulfate do we need to get this concentration of sodium ions. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Anytime you don't know what to do, look at the problem and ask yourself, is there anything that I can do to get to moles? Because 99% of the time, that is what you want to be doing. So if you get lost, if you get confused, you're sad because your calculator isn't next to you, convert to moles. Great way to convert to moles is using our molarity equation, which is equal to moles per liter. We know the concentration is 0 0.0200 molar in sodium ion. So let's figure out how many moles of sodium ion that is. We've got a 0 0.100 liter solution. So how can I solve for moles? So I know that some of you may be able to do this in your head, no problem. Working with numbers less than one is something that's really challenging for me and I'm a genius. So the trick that I do is I like to put these into scientific notation. So this is really 2.00 times 10 to the negative 2. And this is really 1.00 times 10 to the negative 1. Here's why it's easier for me, because I get confused about what's going on with the decimal. When you do it like this, and you multiply two numbers in scientific notation, you just multiply the coefficients. 2 times 1, pfft, easy enough, 2.00 times 10. And then what do you do with your exponents? You add them, negative two plus negative one, negative three, easy. So don't panic when you get numbers like this. My suggestion, convert to scientific notation, becomes a dream. Well, maybe not a dream, but a little less nightmare-ish. Okay, I'm looking for this answer. Oh my goodness, it's not there. Well, what is this? This is my number of moles of sodium ions. Remember, we're trying to solve for grams of sodium sulfate. The sodium ion is coming from this sodium sulfate. So let's just convert now from moles of sodium ion to moles of sodium sulfate. For every one mole of sodium sulfate, I'm going to have two moles of sodium ion. Then we need to get to grams. We go from moles to grams of sodium sulfate. We're given that in the problem, 142 grams. Now let's solve this with our noggins. 2 times 10 to the minus 3 times 1 divided by 2. If it's helpful, even for numbers like this, you can just put it in scientific notation. 2 is 2 times 10 to the 0. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 10 negative 3. So the moles of sodium sulfate that I need is half the number of moles of sodium ion, which makes sense because however much sodium sulfate I put into the solution, I'm going to get twice the number of sodium ions. Why? Because nomenclature. That's why. For every one of these, there's two sodiums. All right, let's take it home. One times 10 to the minus three times 142. Again, that's gonna give me 142 times 10 to the minus three. Now that's pretty shady scientific notation. We have to move our decimal one, two places. So 1.42 times 10 to the minus one grams is our final answer. As I look at my answer choices, none of these are in scientific notation, but this is the same as 1.42 times 10 to the minus one. Boom!